Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the 15th presentation. Please uh, watch it, analyze, and use it in your research and manuscripts. Let's go. In our last session, we learned that John the Baptist's ignorance and disbelief in Jesus brought about so much suffering for Jesus and all humanity. But we can't blame John. We can't blame the people of Jesus' times. It's not easy to recognize the Messiah. How could I recognize Jesus when he returns? To answer this, let's start with what happened right after the cross, and that is the resurrection. When we think of resurrection, we usually think about returning from the dead, physical resurrection. Interestingly, physical resurrection was not a traditional Jewish teaching. At the time of the Old Testament writing, the Jews were under the control of Persia, which followed Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism is a religion that had a great impact on the formation of Judaism. The concepts of evil spirits, of Satan, of angels, and physical resurrection, the final judgment, heaven and hell, they came from Zoroastrianism. Some Jews accepted these, others did not. The Bible says that some Sadducees who say there is no resurrection, came to him and questioned him. It also says that, for the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, nor angels, nor spirits. But the Pharisees confess all of these things. For us as well, the idea of resurrection tests our commitment to, to science. If we are to interpret the Bible literally, when Jesus resurrected, the bodies of the saints buried under the soil will, raise, will rise up in, the, in their original form also, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. But, but dead bodies rising out of the earth and going up into the sky really makes no sense to a modern person. So how can a reasonable person believe in such a religion? The unification principle sorts this out by careful reading of the Bible based on the principle. What does resurrection mean? It means to come back to life again. So let us begin by analyzing what we mean by life and by death as presented in the Bible. In the Bible, it says that to come back to life implies that one had died. So we point out that the Bible has two different concepts of death. And Jesus presented both of them in one verse, Luke 9, 60. There was a follower follower of Jesus who asked Jesus for permission to go and bury his father. Jesus said, let the dead bury their own dead. The dead who is being buried is physically dead. And that's one meaning of death. In regards to this nature of death, life simply means biological functioning of the body. The dead who are doing the burying are obviously not this kind of dead. They're not physically dead. Then why did Jesus call them dead? We find a clue in the book of Revelation 3.1, where Jesus said to the unfaithful church in Sardis, I know your works, and you have the name of being alive, and you are dead. From this, we can infer that dead means those who have rejected Jesus those who have departed from God's love and are living under the influence of Satan. It means they are spiritually dead. The living, from this point of view, are those who are in the love of God through Jesus. As it says in the Gospel of John 11:25, the ones who believe in me will live even when they die. When we can ask, then we can ask, what is the meaning of the death brought about by the fall of Adam and Eve? God created human beings physically as part of the natural world. And so to grow old and die is natural. So the death of Adam, the physical death of Adam at age 930 was not a result of the fall. The physical body is like clothes for the spiritual body. And as we take off our clothes when they get dirty, the body sheds itself when it is old. 
while the spirit takes off and continues to live eternally in the spirit world. So if the death brought about by the fall was not physical death, we cannot but conclude that it is this other kind of death, spiritual death, separation from, from God and cleaving to Satan. In Genesis 2.17, God told Adam that he would die on the day they ate the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, on that very day. The death brought about by the fall does, was not the physical death of the body, which came almost a thousand years later and is natural. The death caused by the fall is a spiritual death, the loss of God's love and captivity under Satan. The first epistle of St. John, chapter 3, verse 4, mentions that the ones who do not love are living in death. When talking about God's love, if you do not know how to love your neighbor, no matter how good your life on earth is, you are dead. It is illustrated in Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. And in the letter of Romans 8.6, for the mind of the flesh is death, but the mind of the spirit is life and peace. On the other hand, even while one's physical life has ended, if his spiritual body is alive in the realm of God's love in heaven, he is alive, she is alive. When Jesus said, the one with faith will live, even though that person dies, he meant that the ones who live in faith under the sovereignty of God, when they die and their body perishes in the dust, their spirit will always live with God. Therefore, to resurrect, does not mean that the physical body will return. Even Jesus, whose return to earth was a special case, completely acted within the principle, as we will discuss later. And he still only stayed on earth for 40 days. Resurrection is a bigger concept in which people who are spiritually dead due to the fall transition to God's realm and restore themselves. You will restore as much as you repent for your sins and be better, a better person than yesterday. That is resurrection. John 5.24 says that he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. This explains the meaning of resurrection. Many have believed that physical death is not natural, that it came from the original sin. But since the Bible defines resurrection as coming back from life to death, they thought believers thought that the resurrection means the saints who are physically dead would come back to physical life. But the Bible actually teaches something different. Physical death is natural. The resurrection means to separate from Satan's realm spiritually, be, be reborn as God's child and develop your spirit through good spiritual practices. This is the process of resurrection. But what about those who departed to the spirit world already? Is there a process of rebirth and resurrection for them? And what does that have to do with our life on earth for us? In our next session, we're going to unpack these important questions. Thank you for listening and God bless you. Okay, okay, okay. This was presentation for today. Please study, research all details below the video.